Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. On September 8th, 2022, DocuSign reported its quarter two earnings and they got a revenue beat and they got an EPS beat. And at the time of this recording, the stock is up over 10%, which equates to about $6 and the current stock price is around $64. So you guessed it right. Today's video, we will go over the earnings report. We will look at some of the market commentary that we have received from different analysts. We will also take a look at the chart. And lastly, is it time to buy DocuSign? So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like. And without further ado, let's dive in. If you have been following DocuSign for a while now, you might know that in the last one year, DocuSign is down 77% from its all time highs. As you can see in this chart, DocuSign had these big dips last three times. Why? Because every time they reported last three earnings, the stock fell sharply. However, this earnings report, it was a reversal where the stock actually jumped after the earning was reported. DocuSign had the revenue beat, they had the EPS beat and overall the company showed some resilience and taking the steps in the right direction. Now if you haven't been following DocuSign very closely you might have missed the news that that the CEO of DocuSign Dan Springer had stepped down back in June and in this earnings report we had an interim CEO who was on the board of DocuSign join the call and provide the CEO remarks. Now if you have not seen the earnings call I highly recommend that at least you should look at the Q&A section and I'll put the link right over here so definitely check that out. Now one of the reasons why DocuSign stocks are up today is because the outlook for the Wall Street at least for some analysts it's changing that the current goal of DocuSign should be to expand within their existing large-scale enterprise business customers so that they are able to gain from the existing contracts. Now as you may have noticed that the macroeconomic conditions are getting difficult. When I say difficult which means the interest rates are rising, the quantitative tightening is going to be getting worse or should I say it's going to get pretty tight for the companies. Now we haven't really felt that yet but as the months will go by we will see changes. However companies are already slowing down their future guidance. They are giving softer future guidance. The hiring has slowed down. With that said in mind, analysts also predict that the companies will start spending less money on future expansive projects even though uh, there is another stock that reported its earning which was UiPath. Haven't seen it? Check it out right here. I will be doing another update to UI stock as well in my next video. So if you don't want to miss it out, make sure you subscribe to the channel. With this backdrop in mind, DocuSign may or may not be able to gain more customers and we will see that in the revenue forecast when we look at the earnings report. However, for now, DocuSign has shown some resilience and has kind of changed the narrative in some analysts. The total revenue for the company in quarter two financial year 2023 came out to be about 622 million, which was uh, up of 22% year over year. If you notice on this left hand side, the company was growing at 39, 49 and 45% year over year now the company is only growing 22% year over year. Now we do expect that in future the revenue forecast will even slow down. Here is where it gets little tricky. As you look at the trend line for billing and revenue growth, yes the revenue has grown 19% but looking at your previous quarters you can clearly see the trend line is pointing downward and you can see the similar trend in the revenue strain as well. In financial year 2021 they had 125,000 customers. In financial year 2002 they grew to 170 k customers however in quarter two financial year 2023 so far it's only up to 191k so you can you can see the trend again is slowing down it is growing at a reduced pace and this is the slide where i put a lot of emphasis even in my last earnings call recap for docusign that the customer demand drives growth at scale it's slowing down considerably we were at levels of 120 plus percent now we are down to 110 percent and in any SaaS model one of the main reasons that you are investing in a company is because you are focused on that the company is going to grow at a massive rate and massive pace but at this point in time as the growth slows down suddenly the valuation for the company does not look very attractive 
even though there's a lot of competition in electronic document signing space, DocuSign still remains the leader. So there is no problem in their market dominant position. However, as the growth slows down, which kind of also tells you what's going on with the industry itself. And the reason as an investor, you should think about that. It's not because the revenue or the growth is slowing down for DocuSign is just DocuSign's problem. Is the total addressable market reducing or did we overestimate the total addressable market? Those are the questions that you should also think about. And lastly, the future guidance, the total revenue they're expecting for the entire fiscal year 2023 is between 2.4 to 2. Point, about 2.4 billion. Subscription revenue will be about 2.4 billion as well. You're looking at a non-gap gross margin of 79 to 81% and the operating margin to be about 16 to 18%. If you look at DocuSign's chart, the stock has closed in negative for the past 13 months. So it will be very interesting to see that if this month DocuSign actually closes above in the green. If we use the FIB level to see what are the different levels that we can track DocuSign, we would probably see DocuSign hitting a resistance around the 6528. And then that could be one. And we would like to see if DocuSign can make a 6221 as their base. Because of this recent gap up, I do expect DocuSign to somehow come back and trade in the range of about 5886 and about 53.36. That is the range that I'm really looking DocuSign to be trading at least for the next couple months. Might be completely wrong on DocuSign might be able to go back up to its previous highs which they which was around the $69 mark. Keep in mind the risk to reward ratio for DocuSign. Currently as the growth slows down, the growth story changes. A company that was bringing in 40-50% growth, if they are going to project about 10 to 12, 13% growth, then it does not provide the same value it was providing before. Would I invest in DocuSign at the current level? Now, this is not a financial advice for you to buy, sell or hold DocuSign. But if I do not have a position in DocuSign at the current point in time, I still think DocuSign is an expensive stock at the current levels, not because that it has gapped up, but because the growth story is slowing down for DocuSign. I would highly recommend that you check out the Q&A section because there was one question where the CEO mentioned that they hired a new, I think, SVP of customer success. Now, customer success is a very important function within a software company. Customer success individuals, they work with the customers and try to make sure the customer is able to use the software to its full capacity, understand different use cases of the customer and try to expand within the existing customers. At DocuSign, they, it was a revolving door where they lost a lot of customer success talent in the last couple months. However, from my perspective, I will not be investing in DocuSign at the current levels because I am not very confident that the macroeconomic conditions have improved. And as I'm seeing the market and I'm seeing other companies, there are other companies that I would rather invest in at the current point in time. For example, Nvidia is one of my plays uh, where I do see much better upside five years from here onwards as compared to DocuSign. There is one silver lining on the cloud. DocuSign can be acquired. Now, there are two potential names, Microsoft or Salesforce. If one of those companies, they acquire DocuSign, you will see DocuSign stock really rocket up, at least in the short term. That was my quick analysis on DocuSign. I highly recommend that you listen to the entire earnings call because that will give you a lot of insights if you are an existing investor in DocuSign or you are potentially planning to buy DocuSign. So with that said, if you found any value in today's video, make sure you hit the like, click on subscribe and ring the bell notification. I will see you next time, Investor Family, but don't forget to invest for tomorrow.